Hello and welcome to more Modern Horizons draft. All right, this pack, it's hard getting used to Vintage Cube or coming from Vintage Cube to a non-powered format. We got Reap the Past. I mean, this is the closest thing we can get, right? This is basically green, red, draw X cards. Because you're not going to be casting this in the early game. This is a late game card. And so the idea is you filled your graveyard pretty big and then you just get all of your good cards back. So I really like this card. It does kind of commit you to red green early but there's quite a bit of fixing in this format i think i found so this is definitely splashable um probably better in red than in green but green does have quite a few ways to like put land cards in a graveyard and stuff so i think i'm going to take that the next best pick uh tribute mage can get the signets or talisman so that's kind of cool but yeah i'm gonna take reap the past starting off strong and see where we can go this card seems suspect in this format so we got farmstead gleamer gleaner so this is a three mana two two that you basically have to pay two mana every turn to attack with it but it grows every single turn so it's pretty good um grave shifter is very powerful this is a four mana two two it's a changeling and then it gets you other cards back i kind of like that really goes well with reap the past for like power level um we could also take cross and tusker if we want to build like a sweet five color you know what i'm gonna take cross and tusker I think this card's power level in general is better, but Reap the Past, it's okay in like green red, but it's at its best in like a play all the good cards type deck. And in order to do that, you need stuff like Cross and Tusker to fix your mana. So we're going to take Cross and Tusker and see if we can do, yeah, like Factor Fiction. Stuff like that is real good with Reap the Past. Fills your graveyard, draws you tons of cards. So yeah, we need effects like Cross and Tusker to fix our mana and ramp. So we're going to take like the Signets or Talismans very highly. I'm going to take Fop though. Also seeing it that late is kind of a good sign. Ooh, what is this? This is a 2 mana 2-2. Two -two. Wow, that seems very powerful. It attacks as a 4-4. Four -four. I like that. I also love Everdream. <clears throat> I also like String of Disappearances. Oh, that's cool. That is some cool artwork. Not really what we want. I think it's between Everdream and String for us. String can help keep us alive, and I don't actually think we need Everdream because we just got Fop and Reap the Past. So I kind of want just removal, if at all possible. And this is similar to removal in this format because a lot of the good threats, you know, are a lot of mana. And then hopefully you can find something to deal with them after you bounce them a couple times. Uh, so Mindrake is Mindrot with upside, I guess if you want to target yourself, which I kind of like. I mean, another way to deal with it is like bounce their creatures and then make them discard them. Irregular Cohort is very strong um, if you're playing like Slivers in particular. And then Pillage might be the next. I'm going to try out Mind Rake though. We're going to see how far we can go with this deck. Unbound Flourishing. Whenever you cast a permanent spell with X, so this doubles all the X spells. <laughs> Right now, that's good with just Reap the Past, I suppose. Not super into that. Uh, Rot Widow Pack seems really good, though. This is a 4-mana 2-4 reach that exiles creatures and makes a bunch of spiders. I kind of like that, so we're going to take that. Probably got to take the Talisman here. Ooh, Trumpeting Herd is also very good. <sighs> Let's see, so right now we're Sultai. I really do like the Talisman. I'm just going to take it. I think I just want a bunch of mana for Reap the Past. Now I can take a Spring Bloom Druid. Uh, ooh, that's a late sinkhole as well. But this is fixing. Um, Search a library for two basic lands. Kind of puts whatever we want into play. Fills our graveyard for Reap the Past. And it does accelerate you. Because you, you go down a land and then you get two lands. So this on turn three kind of just enables our whole deck. And I guess we take a Snow Covered Forest. Exile this, search your library. That seems kind of bad. We're just going to take the snow land. There are quite a few instances where this is good. And even just having one makes both Spring Bloom Dryad and Crows and Tusker a lot better because they can find us a snow land. That is an exceptionally late irregular cohort. I'm not in love with Cave of Temptation, so I'm just going to take the very good card. But it is two of the colors we are currently not, so I don't. <laughs> I'm not so sure if that's a good decision. Mm, stream of thought i mean that's a very good late game win con i think uh my last draft i played a lot of these i don't think you actually need that many probably two is good enough when it enters the battlefield you may discard a card 
if you do make a zombie and then exile creature card from a graveyard i'm not in love with that i'm just gonna take the changeling in case we do end up with like a sliver lord or something phantasmal form all right sure probably not playing that it seems okay i mean it cycles so any card that draws a card is automatically somewhat playable unbound flourishing well if we get more x spells i don't know if there's like a a burn or anything what is this when this deals combat damage create a copy of it that seems kind of fun maybe not amazing but let's see we have three creatures uh ingenious infiltrator is also pretty good we could take lonely sandbar get some lands with cycling to help us go through our deck like we don't really need creatures anymore um defile is also pretty good we're gonna have a couple swamps and it is an instant probably not even playing that I kind of just like taking the cycle land. It seems really good. Hope to wheel either Scour or Winding Way. Ooh, see, these are the cards we wanted. So you can't spend mana. So you have to have t at least two creatures in play to cast him. I kind of want to take a Crypt Rats. Right now we have the option to go Crypt Rats, get back Crypt Rats, and do it again. And, I mean, this just wipes the board if we can get enough black mana. Yeah, I'm going to take a Crypt Rats. This card in Limited seems super dumb. Restricted to black mana for sure, but still super dumb. Um, okay. So I can take another Lonely Sandbar. I can take Winter's Rest and try and wheel the island. Um, I've won at least one stream of thought, but this will probably come around. I can't imagine too many people taking it. Yeah, so you just need more Snowlands. I already have two ways to fetch it up, so I think I'm just going to take this. Hope to wheel that. Ooh. Echo of Aeons, you say? Oh, there's also the Venomous Changeling. So, Echo of Aeons, we can get a lot of... I probably don't want that. That doesn't even double Echo of Aeons. We can get a lot of cards. See, it's sweet, but it's, like, not even that good. I think it's just worse than playing a Venomous Changeling. If it comes around, I'll probably take it, but we don't... We already have quite a bit of card advantage in Factor Fiction and Reap the Past that we don't really need it. Um... Okay, what do we got from this pack? I kind of like the fountain, but this takes any snow permanence into hand. Not super into that. Scuttling sliver, we don't have too much of that. I'm just going to take the fountain. It gives us black mana for crypt rats. Yeah. Uh, the next best pick might be snow covered island. All right, here now I probably take stream of thought. Ooh, or a snow covered swamp. Because I only really need two, and snow covered swamp is really good with crypt rats. Just something to target up, and then maybe we can pick up like a behemoth or something later on. All right, I'll take the swamp. Again, I really, you just need like two of these, because when you cast one, you just shuffle the other one in. So it's just a really good late game win condition. Um, yeah, so I'm not very impressed with Throws of Chaos. I think it's okay in the right deck, but a deck that's as like conditional as some of these decks are, it's not so great. Um, Goblin Engineer... Yeah, so you need an artifact to trigger that. We have two snow covered, so this could help fix our mana, but we could just take another snow covered. And I kind of like that. Ooh, I really like this. Um, we don't have anything that, like particularly great to like couple with it, but if we can just get a bunch of things that generate mana, this is a, a great win condition as well. Ooh, scour all possibilities. That is a very late infiltrator. But I'm just going to take this. It kind of smooths our early draws. I will play Llanowar Tribe. We definitely have good use of this mana. Oh, wait, triple green. <laughs> we'll take it back to the lab. All right, is the draw seven going to wheel? No, but we got our stream of thought back, so that's okay. <clears throat> now that we have two, we don't really need any more. Um, from this pack, don't really care. I guess this, I don't, it doesn't matter. Glacial Revelation... It's getting close now. If we can get like a lot of snow covered lands, maybe it'll get there. Do I need a third stream? I'm going to take No. Oh, I wanted the behemoth. That's that's a little upsetting. Well, I have three stream of thoughts now. <laughs> All right. Uh Merit Lage is slumber. Enters the battlefield, scry one. And you need 10 snow permanents. I have uh 1 2 3 4 5 Probably not taking that. We're going to say that's probably not amazing here. Um, I like either Rot Widow Pack, Prohibit, or another Snow-Covered Island. Umazawa's Charm's okay, but I kind of like Rot Widow Pack. This card is like a very, very good win condition. Our mana's a little sketchy, but 
I don't love counter spells. I'll take the Rot Widow. This just blocks so many different creatures. Okay. Unsettled Mariner. So this probably isn't that good in our deck because we don't really care about our creatures. Um, that's okay. It's really only good with um, Birthing Bows, but I'm not super into that. I kind of want to just take a Spell Snuff. The problem with that is it costs three mana. Maybe I'll just take String of Disappearances. Let's see. What do I have that gains card advantage? Not a whole lot. We're kind of all in on like fall for reap the past. I don't think I want to take the snow covered. I think it's between these two cards. And the cheaper spell usually appeals to me, but I guess I'll take my first counter spell. Oh, that's a lot of glacial revelations. Really sad uh spell snuff just showed up, but I can take a oh, Venomous Changeling probably is just better than Magmatic Sinkhole. We're just gonna sit behind some death touchers and get them. Um Okay, so. You can blink creatures every turn, but we don't have particularly good creatures. The only good one would be Spring Bloom Druid. I, th I don't think it's worth splashing for that. Unearth can get back Venomous Changelings, Spring Bloom Druid, Crypt Rats. Oh, wow. Unearth on Crypt Rats is kind of busted. Yeah, we got to do that. And it just stays in play, right? Yeah, I'm on board with that. Um... Two Scour All Possibilities makes our turn two pretty good. Trumpeting Herd, we're not playing that. Trumpeting Herd gives us like a really solid mid to late game, but we already have, uh, our, our late game's pretty good. I kind of want to just take Scour All Possibilities just to like really make our mana in like, yeah, I'm just going to take that. Um, the next best card could be like Re Reprobation, but I think just this just smooths our draws so well that I'm pretty happy to pick it up. Um... Man, Shelter's a busted card. The fact that it cycles for a card is really good. Um, we can take another Spell Snuff. I'm not in love with that, but I don't think I'm going to play any of these other cards. So we got two. Ooh, Chiller Pillar. Oh, I got to take Magmatic Sinkhole now. This deck can definitely fill its graveyard, and I'm definitely going to be playing Reap the Past just as a way to like get everything back. So I love Chiller Pillar. can become a 5-5 five, five Flyer. Oh, wait, Vesper Lark? can also get back Crypt Rats, but it's in white. I'm just going to take this. I don't want to be fully five color. Ooh, Force of Negation. Probably just worse than another Scour All Possibilities, which I think that card is better than Ransack the Lab. Yeah, you can flash it back, which is nice. Okay, now I can take a Prohibit. Yeah, not really getting there on Merit Lady Slumber, but we got some pretty good card advantage. Thornado. So we're basically blue-black, Splashing green for these, which I think seems worth it. Yeah, because we can unearth their Crypt Rats. We can get it back off Reap the Past. Uh, I'm not taking Scrap Yard. I'll just take, if our opponent has a lot of flyers, our sideboard is now good. And then Stream of Thought is the end game. Seems okay. Land of War Tribe. I still don't think I'm getting there. We just have like the perfect anti-flyer sideboard. Uh, another Astrolabe, huh? Maybe. We're not playing the planes. I kind of like playing one. I don't know if I like playing two, because right now we have one, two, three, four, five ways to generate. Did we just get a last pick snow covered forest? Well, that was kind of the dream. All right, now I'll probably put in both. So these are mana's 28 playables. That's a lot. So what don't we like? I don't like having two spell snuffs. Um, that might be too many scour all possibilities. And I think I only want two stream of thoughts. Maybe one is all I need to actually win. But I think two gives you some redundancy because you play one, shuffle the other, play the next one, shuffle the other one. And it's pretty good with like, yeah, factor fiction. Okay, definitely going to keep two in the deck. I like the one bounce spell. The talisman adds red. And we just need a lot of mana in this deck anyway, so I'm okay with that. Honestly, I don't think I need this. Like, if our opponent's deck is also grindy, I might bring it in, but it just seems a little slow. And we have like a bunch of other stuff to do with our mana with double scour all possibilities and stuff 24 playables with two astrolabes and i think i like 24 we have all of these cards uh do i want a mountain i don't think i need a mountain because i have these are for late game anyway so no mountains i want more swamps than you would think um my blue cards i also want early so right now this gives us one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten black sources. Green sources we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and then blue is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then for red, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Only four red sources. I could cut Talisman of Conviction for a mountain. That seems actually kind of better. Because then I can tutor up the mountain with these. Yeah, if this was double on color, maybe I would see playing this, but I kind of need all the other cards. So we're basically on the like unearth crypt rats and either burn them out with Rot Widow Pack, which I guess we don't have that many creatures, right? Rot Widow Pack will just be exiling these probably, which is fine. Wait, what creatures do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems good enough. I actually <laughs> don't really have any other creatures to put in. So this is the deck. Let's see how it runs. See you guys run one. Hello and welcome! Playing against Cadillac. I don't even know how to say that. We're going first. <laughs> um, this hand is probably not keepable. It kind of has everything we would want, but is not there. This hand is also not keepable. Alright, this hand's actually pretty good. Um, we have all the... they mold the five as well, so... It's a making us feel good type mulligan. Stream of thought. Kind of a card we want for the late game. It's not particularly good early. Um, we just wanted to guarantee we had a way to win the game. Leading on island. Turn two scour makes sense. We want to draw some type of action and a green source eventually. But if we're both crippled, I think that favors us. Our deck is like a really strong ooh, late game. I guess I'll do scour first. Ransack is better if you're looking for one particular card. Like I can put this on the bottom, forest on top. I know it's kind of crazy to draw lands, but we have green spells plus... I mean, this deck is very mana hungry. Um, five lands also let us lets us flashback scour. Oh, we're just dead. We're just dead. If they're like mono green bears, that's kind of a problem. Let's play ransack. Astrolabe, tusker, sinkhole. Hmm. I'm kind of in for the sinkhole as a way to kill the bears. This game's going to go long, and I don't need more lands. Okay, I'll take that. Play mountain. If they mill us for some reason, I can play the sinkhole, but... Basically, killing Ayola is going to be kind of important. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I cannot kill her currently. Okay, that is not a bear. As long as this is not a bear, then I think we're okay. Okay, we good. They took damage for no reason, which is kind of weird. But we're going to go forest, pass turn. And I can go sinkhole exiling the astrolabe and ransack. Um, do I want to kill her now? I'm going to do it end of turn in case they play anything scarier. Okay, let's kill her. Kill that. The thing I was kind of worried about was um them playing a pump spell on her like mid-combat. But that's not happening. So we can go Swamp, play Scour, set up our next couple draws. Hmm. Island is Stream of Thought. Well, now both Stream of Thoughts are on the bottom. Wow, that is... Quite a few lands. Definitely a non-zero amount. I'm going to keep playing Swamps because we have Crypt Rats, I think. I don't like this. Oh. All right, I can bounce that. Kind of wish I had Magmatic Sinkhole, though. Okay, never mind. We're good. Play you. Continue playing Swamps. Pass turn. Cracking that in their draw step is interesting. I guess that's the same as main phase. Right now I'm okay with taking 8. Or I guess we take 5. Okay. Alright deck, can we draw anything but lands here? That does technically block. Do this. Fountain. Pass turn. So I can animate the fountain. Um, I cannot tap it for mana after I animate it because it just entered. But that doesn't really matter. Oh, that's pretty good. So that's a 4-4. Four, four. And Frost Wall is kind of an issue. I kind of want to bounce the Rhyme Stag. This way I have more life for Crypt Rats and stuff. Um, I can also... No, I can't tap this for mana. If I could tap it for mana, I could bounce, block, bounce this. And then uh, replicate it to bounce that. But I'm just going to bounce this. Keep our life total nice and high. We got plenty of draws that can block it. So there's no reason to... Take the damage. Oh, okay. 
I will in fact do that for four. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. I can only play one thing here, and that's probably going to be the scorpion just to block. All right, let's do it. Reap the past, you did your job. Okay, let's play the scorpion. So scorpion's probably just gonna block the frost walla. Let's put them in the stop in the draw step type situation. I don't know if they know this is not their main phase. Okay. Grave Shifter. Okay, that's kind of a problem. They can get back Marasa Behemoth. That is an 8-8. What do you have for a single green? Oh, they tapped. Ooh. All right. Change link down. They get a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we're in trouble now. I mean, we currently have a 3-3 three, three that can block most things, and we're taking 2. But I'm not in love with it. Ooh, I like that. Three, four. Play the Rot Widow pack. I don't have enough. Oh, I do have enough. Okay, let's play the Rot Widow pack. Start making spiders to block stuff. Play the deer. And then they have the behemoth for next turn. I don't know about that sequencing. If they have a way to kill this, then we're not doing so good. Squirrel nest. I have no way to kill the land. This only bounces creatures. Okay. Well, this thing is a permanent 4-4 four four now. So let's make a spider. They lose 2. You know, this could be worse. Now we can play the Crocent Tusker. Or I could cycle it. If I cycle the Crocent Tusker, it just turns into a spider. But as a 6-5, it blocks really well, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, I guess we just pass turn. It's gonna be hard, because they're just gonna make a bunch of squirrels and go wide. But we can make spiders and go wide if we can fill our graveyard. We basically need to find, like, factor fiction would be ideal. And if we draw one of our mill spells, which are both on the bottom, two, three, four, we can double replicate to mill for 12. There's the behemoth. So that's gonna have to get bounced to buy us some time. Um, do I wanna bounce it now? Probably. I mean, they know I have this already, so we might as well. And they can already trigger Enter the Battlefields off Squirrel Nest, so... Alright, non-land. That's Factor Fiction. Let's main phase that. One, uh, two, three, four. Foth. What? That's an odd split, I would say. <laughs> but you got it, you got it. Um, okay, let's go scour all possibilities. Oh, I don't have blue! Ah! Bottom that. I kind of like spell snuff, but I don't have enough double blue. But it will be good later on. So let's put that on top. Yeah, I forgot about that card. And then we can play the Rot Widow pack and still hold up the mountain. So, or hold up the fountain, I mean. Get some blockers. So if they don't play the Behemoth this turn, then we can counter it. They probably will. And then we're going to have to, like, Block it, magmatic sinkhole or something. Yep. All right. Crypt rats. Okay, so crypt rats plus magmatic sinkhole, I believe, can kill the behemoth. Wow, this is gonna be gross. I crypt rats for three. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. So one doesn't matter. One, two, three. I want to hold up blue. So I play crypt rats. I do x equals 3. Yeah. Okay. That might actually just kill them. Um, Cryptonites x equals 3. Right? That kills all of these. Oh. They can keep their saddled rhyme stag alive by making a squirrel. But then they lose the squirrel. I think x is 3 is fine. Yeah. They did not. Okay. Now we magmatic sinkhole this. 2, 3, 4, Five. I'm just gonna get rid of Scour, I guess, because we're kind of crushing it right now. We win, okay. Yeah, because we had a counter spell up. Yeah, that would have been good. So their deck, don't really know what it does. It's just got some creatures. I think we're good against decks that's just got some creatures. It's a brand new game. We're both keeping seven. We're gonna Cross and Tusker for. Oh goodness. All right. That's good. That's really good. Snow-covered island, play the astrolabe. Okay, so we can kill one of the 4-4s four at least. Definitely saving that for this. 
Um, and then the single kills the rest. Okay. Oh, sometimes that happens. <laughs> See you guys next round. All right, we're here against, oh, I love their name. And we got all forests and a bunch of blue cards. And run the draw. Um, we have snow covered forest. I think I'm gonna keep. We have quite a few ways to fix for all colors. Two astrolabes plus the Croson Behemoth or Croson Tusker plus the green creature that sacrifices forests. We can always cycle on Earth if things get sketchy, and Rot Riddle Pack is a very good card, so I think overall this hand's fine. Opponent also has snow covered lands, I see. Magmatic sinkhole, the perfect draw. True top ambusher, okay. So probably turn two, I'll just be cycling. Nope, never mind. I'm just gonna play this. Man is perfect. Everything's great. A little slow because uh we don't have prohibit up, but that's fine, we have winter's rest and all that. And I'm not that worried about the two one currently. Ooh, that's a good card. Okay. As things currently stand, I might actually Winter's Rest this Treetop Ambusher. Although they have so many snow-covered lands that it's totally possible they have the creature that pumps itself equal to the number of snow permanents you control. Which would be even scarier. So, I'm going to take a hit for four. Nah, we're going to take a hit for one. <clears throat> and blue. I can't even hold up Prohibit with Kicker, so like, what's the point? And Magmatic Sinkhole can kill the uh, the big boy if they play him next turn. Because I think he's a 5-mana 4-4. Four, four. Wall of Blossoms. Deal. It's a good card, but... And then we take one... One? One damage is fine. Ooh, Lonely Sandbar. Let's just play the Spider. Let's add Black. Man, this Astrolabe is really coming in clutch right now. Past turn. Don't really have much to reap the past yet. I would like to cycle on Earth as soon as possible. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. Well, couldn't prohibit that. This card actually seems kind of bad. I'm not in love with it in the main deck. I might cut it. If you get it off turn two, sure, but otherwise it doesn't do anything. Snow-covered island. Well, we'll play it. Taking five here, and then we can sinkhole. But now I have counter spells up for most things I could play, and then we can... Cycle Lonely Sandbar, Cycle on Earth. Yeah, if we, if we survive this, we're doing okay. Savage Swipe. They fight, so let's prohibit that. And counter target spell is CMC is two or less, yeah. Kind of want our Spider around. Take five, which is a lot. Um, I guess I'm gonna Cycle on Earth first. See if I can draw anything better, like a Bounce spell or something. Okay, take five. Oh, that's kind of an even bigger problem. That's also a problem. Okay, deck. We need... Crypt Rats doesn't even do it because we don't have any black mana right now. And this has Unearth. So end step, let's make blue. Cycle this. More islands, okay. Spring Bloom Druid. It's a way to get rid of some of these forests. Play island. Play you. Don't need that much green. Let's grab probably just double black. The astrolabe gives us the one red we need. Yeah. And pass turn. We can sinkhole leaving just probably unearth in the graveyard. Yeesh. Okay. So spring bloom druid, we're definitely gonna let die. Target itself makes sense. Alright, how do we block here? One one here. The 2-2 two, two blocks the 3-2, and then we kill the spider. Yeah, that seems okay. Kill that. Add red to... Yeah, prohibit seems kind of bad. They have no cards in hand, so I'm just going to grab on Earth. Yeah, we can't really have them getting spiders. Now I can start making spider tokens to block the 5-4, which I can just get back with Wreath the Past. So it's not so bad. Swamp was not a great draw, but it's not a terrible one either. Um, so one, two, one, two, three. I can reap the past for three and then replay the Spring Bloom Druid. It'll give us a lot of mana. I kind of like doing that. Let's add red, green, right? One, two, three, and then I have three mana left. Yeah. Not the best use of this, but we're getting all the lands out of our deck. And as long as we don't kill these cards, like, they're not that scary. Play the Druid. 
also sacrificing another forest. Grabbing Swamp Swamp, I think. Mm, that's a lot of black. Let's go Swamp Mountain. Go. Then we let this die. We basically do the same thing again. Okay. So block here and here, and we take two. I don't really want to let them use their mana to get Mother Bear, but taking two damage isn't the worst. I like the fountain. Let's go island. Play the fountain. I kind of want to save. On Earth, I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah. So we can animate the fountain. I think I want all my mana this turn. That's what I'm saying. The rats are getting worse and worse, but we can. Uh, our mill spell, one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two. We're actually really close for milling for 16. Okay, so they're just attacking with that. I don't really want to give them more cards just yet, but I feel like killing this is probably correct. So let's just kill that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Headless Spectre. That's a problem. Okay, so we have a 2 2 flyer. We have Reach. Okay, we're fine. Um, I do kind of want to cycle on Earth. That's a good card. So, Cross and Tusker can block most of the things. How much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wow, I have a lot of mana. Let's just cast this. And I can still activate Rot Widow Pack to chump block this guy when they unearth him next turn. They get to draw a card, but there are worse things. And then Rot Widow Pack can block the Spectre. This can block Mother Bear. So we have all the bases covered right now. Okay, so that's what we expected. Interesting. So let's make a spider. One, two, three, four, green. Okay, I don't know if they know that this has reach or not, but that's how we block. All right, that kills everything. Fair enough. Fortunately, we have Fountain of Ecor. Earth is Spectre. That was a good play. All right, deck. Give us some stuff. String of Disappearance. So I can just bounce that. All right, I mean, we start hitting with this for sure. Because we have unlimited mana at this point. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have to bounce it. Otherwise, they just make me discard. Uh, as it currently stands, I'll just take two. If they play a spell from their hand, then I won't. Okay. I can block that, and I get the Mother Bear tokens. Yeah, this is somewhat of an issue. Um, Crypt Rats now is the only draw I think that could get me out of it. Crypt Rats, Venomous Changeling. That might be okay. I can play the Changeling. I mean, we got to. Pass turn. Very odd that they did not make themselves Hellbent pre-combat. Okay, so they're going to attack. Hmm. All right, well, I... My hand is forced here. The problem is they just replay it. Oh, they're not replaying it? Awesome. That was a huge mistake on their part. Uh, how many lands are left in our deck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's like two lands left in my deck. There are two lands left in the next 13 cards, I believe. So the late game should favor us. I mean, our opponent is giving us all the chances because they would have had lethal this turn all right deck we need to draw a spell no lands that is a pretty good spell so we'll start here crypt rats um so crypt rats for two wipes their board puts us at two life but that seems fine and stream of thought we can do for one one two three four one two three four I don't have enough blue, but that mills them for 12, so that's pretty good. So we're going to put that on top, and then Crypt Rats on top. Play Crypt Rats. This needs to go away. Play Crypt Rats. Pop it for two. They lose a card, lose life. Animate Fountain. Um, do I want to animate Fountain? That hits them for four. I kind of want to just cast Scour of All Possibilities again. Astrolabe Stream of Thought. Ah, uh, the Astrolabe gives us more blue mana. Can I kill them now? So, unfortunately the way I tapped, I actually cannot cast the Astrolabe this turn, but 
that costs one. And then blue, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I'm one short, so I just tapped wrong. Wait, I gotta do the math again. Hang on, I'll come back. Yeah, I'm one short. So Astrolabe goes on the bottom, but I believe Stream of Thought is a good way to win, so that's going on top. And then I'm just gonna pass turn. I don't wanna die to like them having a hasty guy. I'm not really winning through damage. Regrowth on... Oh man, they just got the spider to kill us. And exactly enough mana to do it. Oh, that's gross. Good place. Yep. All right, I mean, that's fine. We played our best. They just drew pretty well at the end. So, as always, we basically just want to draw Crypt Rats. So, let's just do that. <laughs> let's go first. There we go. We got Crypt Rats. We cannot cast the Astrolabe, but we can play Factor Fiction. And that should hopefully get us there. Kind of upsetting when your opponent makes a bunch of misplays to like put you in the game but then they just top deck for the win but it's encouraging for like games two and three because you know you have an advantage because you're going to play better uh let's lead on forest i guess Ooh, okay now we got the full combo i'm gonna play island because i have a double blue counter spell perfect spring bloom druid's kind of exactly what i wanted i can sacrifice this island to get some more swamps Get snow covered swamp and just a swamp. Oh yeah. This is this is the Crypt Rat's turn right here. Well, in a few turns. There's no real reason to do it right right now. Because the next turn I can just play Factor Fiction, and that seems pretty good. Okay. Let's go Astrolabe. Island. Hold up Fof. Pass turn. EOT F O F Y L. Stands for for those who don't know. When Factor Fiction was in standard or Extended? I don't actually know what format that was. Um, the phrase was E-O-T-F-O-F-Y-L, which stands for end of turn, factor fiction, you lose. Because, I mean, this card draws you either the worst three cards or the best two cards or, you know, some variant of that. Headless Spectre. Okay, we can take two a couple turns. I can't imagine them emptying their hand next turn. And we'll see what Foff gets us. So, I kind of want l mana... Cross and Tusker, Snow Covered Island versus Ah, uh, the classic lands versus spells. Um hmm. Well, I don't really need removal, so I'm just gonna take mana. Because we have a lot of good things to do with a bunch of mana. And Crypt Rats can just keep us alive literally forever. Let's play another Astrolabe, because we have the double blue counter. Mountain, okay. And then more swamps. And I think I do cycle lonely sandbar here. Okay, Reap the Pass makes me feel pretty safe. Um, I don't want to just run out Crypt Rats. And them getting down to zero cards seems almost impossible. So we can just pass turn. Cycle Cross and Tusker end of turn. Right now I can go one, two, three, one, two. So right now I can play and activate Crypt Rats X equals four. Which, I'm hoping they commit to the board so I can do that. Especially, what is this? That seems very good. Not particularly good against me, but... Pay one life, sacrifice a creature, put a minus one, and draw a card. Oh, that's kind of gross, because they can just draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, that's a problem. Alright, Cross and Tusker, do your thing. Mm-hmm. Grab... Probably snow-covered forest. Oh, I kind of want blue, actually, for stream of thought. But it doesn't. Yeah, we'll get more blue, I guess. Then we draw a card. We've, like, kind of gone through a bunch of lands again. So as long as we don't get as flooded as last game, we should be fine. Ooh, that's a good one, too. All right. Pretty happy with what's going on. Let's go with... Uh, doesn't matter. Island. One, two, three to play Crypt Rats. And then we just hold up mana, because I can turn this into black. Uh, actually, I don't really want to let them untap, because they could have... Yeah, we're going to do this now. Deal four. They can pay a life to draw a card. Yep. Dogmoth is a good card. But we have an in completely full hand, and we can just unearth Crypt Rats to wipe the board again. 
Plus we have like a Death Touch Changeling or like a Rot Widow pack. Squirrel Nest. Not too worried about that. Mm -hmm. Wow, they would have gone off with the Moth. Really glad I got them when I did. Um, Let's go Rot Widow pack. And I guess I can exile the Spring Bloom Druid. I don't really see the need to play the Changeling just yet. Oh, I guess I don't have enough mana. That's fine. Make a Squirrel. Rot Widow pack, yep. We're going to take some spider damage now. Spell Snuff. That would have been good like one turn ago. So what can I do? I feel like here's what we're going to do. We're going to unearth Crypt Rats, because I don't really want them having Rot Widow pack that just does a bunch of damage to us. So get you back. And then I believe I should just activate Crypt Rats for four. Yeah, and then I can have a counter spell up. That seems good. So activate. I need to add... um. Mana here, let's add black with this green. Four Crypt Rats, deals X damage to everything. And then I have Counter Spell up. And then I could just get this all back next turn. Go ahead. Gluttonous Slug, Menace Evolve. That card's not that scary. They can make a 1-1 one, one Squirrel. Mother Bear, sure. Mother Bear doesn't do too much. Go Island. Play the Fountain, play Venomous Changeling, pass turn, yep, this is certainly getting countered, two, three, so they can hit us for two with the Slug, I guess, yep, take two, prohibit, okay, we're at eight life, that's kind of scary, so Stream of Thought we can do for one, two, three, I can mill them for 12. That's not really enough, so I'm just gonna reap the past for a good amount. Three, four, five. I think reap the past x equals five seems okay. I have a lot of good cards in there, and I wanna be able to hold up double block. Yeah. Okay, so we got unearth, and we got magmatic sinkhole and spell snuff, so I can just pass turn. Um, so we have a couple options. We can unearth crypt rats and do three to everything. I think passing turns our best option right now. Because if they just attack with Slug, we can kill it. If they swing out, that's worse. But we can block two of them and take two off the Slug. We have a counter spell up. Undead Augur. Whenever it or another zombie dies. Okay, that seems okay to me. Attacking with that. Let's animate this. What do they have that's Convoke? Fair enough. So that dies. And then I guess I'm just going to kill the 2-5 slug right now so I don't take any damage. Sinkhole targeting this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Do I have any way to get back the Rot Widow pack? Five. I guess it's just better than the Changeling. So I'll keep the pack. Okay, that becomes a 3-3 that is tapped. Doesn't really matter. And then we can play Crypt Rats. Hopefully they, um... Savage Swipe. Well, that's kind of gross. Okay, so Swamp. And then Crypt Rats. With Unearth. And then I have both Prohibit and Spell Snuff up. Um, how much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4... Uh, that's five, six, seven. So I can play Cross and Tusker. Actually, doing that seems kind of good to me. Let's play Cross and Tusker. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have three mana up because I only want to Crypt Rats for two. Is there any downside to doing it on their turn? If they have any pump spell, that's pretty bad. So we'll just Crypt Rats x equals two right now. So Cross and Tusker is basically lethal. So now if we draw our bounce spell, we can kind of get in. I'm assuming their play is just Mother Bear. If they play a big spell here, that's worse. But we can Foff to find answers. And then one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So we're two mana away, but we can at least mill them for 12 at the moment. Poor opponent's been Crypt Rats three times right now. Unearth the Slug. Yep, like a squirrel. I guess I can have six. I have no responses. Ugh, Rot Widow pack. That's a problem. 
All right, let's go forest, factor fiction. Okay, changeling and string of disappearance probably gets split. And I believe I just take the string because I have counter spells. Yeah, that seems better to me. Take this. Um, I think I just bounce this spider now. And do I attack with Crows and Tusker? They don't have to block, and then they could just kill me. I'm going to attack. Yeah, that seems better. All right, pass turn. So we can prohibit with Kicker. We have to take damage off the Slug anyway, because it has Menace. This is getting really close. Treetop Ambusher. That's getting hit by Prohibit. And I can still spell snuff. Rhyme Tender. That one is kind of okay. The problem is they make... I, I just have to counter it. Um, no, because if I just let them resolve Rot Widow, I just die. So I, can, I just have to let that resolve. We're so close, but <laughs> I don't know if I've navigated this wrong or I've just been outdrawn. I mean, my opponent's drawn six lands in the top 23 cards of their deck. I think I've just been outdrawn. I don't know. Where, where are all the lands in their deck? I didn't even notice this before. So take two. Okay. Stream of thought. So that might be lethal. I can go one, one, two, cast stream of thought with kicker. Yeah, let's do that right now. Target you. Replicate one time. Replicate. And then we could just kill them next turn. And we have a counter spell for their next play. They make a squirrel. They hit us for three, but three is not four. And we shuffle back, prohibit, sinkhole, the spider, uh, string, and foth. And I still spell snuff up, even though it doesn't look like it. So they make a squirrel. Then they have three damage of attackers. I have four damage of blockers. Or I can block here. I take three. So if they have anything big enough to trigger the slug, I die. But I have one counter spell up. So if they play the spider, I think I just have to let it resolve because that doesn't actually trigger the slug. Unearth. Oh my god, I milled that? Oh, that's so bad. And I can't even counter it. No! Ah. I totally forgot about that guy. Look at this pile of lands that was on top of their library, by the way. Their library was literally all lands and the Gargantua. What kind of... <laughs> wow, they didn't even attack with a Rhyme Tender? Dude! They're putting themselves dead to so many things that I'm just losing to it. I don't know. Could I have won this? I'm trying to think of how I could have won this game. I'm sure if I go back and watch the tapes, there's like some way I could have navigated it better. Because I needed spell snuff to counter the spider, because even if I mill them out, they can... Let's say I survive this attack, right? They hit me down to like two, then they play the spider. On their upkeep before they die, they just make a spider and hit me for two, so I die in response. I don't know what I could have done. I mean, they had the unearth, which perfectly played around everything. And then they drew all spells on the top of their... Like, look at this! <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, well, good games nonetheless. Um, those are really solid. This format looks fun, and I'll see you guys soon.